Okie dokie. Hey everybody, this is Justin Brenda with cleaningmarketing.com and we help house cleaning businesses and cleaning businesses in general um, grow with a practical, affordable growth and marketing solutions. Today, this is a really special um, topic I'm excited about because it's really, really important. And that is... We're gonna take you through a website um, it's one of our clients' websites that actually is really high performing. And what I mean by high performing is it gets a lot of leads, a lot of phone calls, brings in a lot of revenue, and it actually saves him a lot of money. So we're gonna go top to bottom and show you the really important elements that we have found to really, really convert. We've made a m lot of websites in our lives, and so this one um, really gets the phone to ring and brings you customers the best that we have found. Yeah, yeah. So yep. Justin, we, go ahead and... Yeah, we've been building websites for local service businesses since like 2006 or something. So Ooh, really... Beautiful. Yeah, I know. So what you're seeing here is really a lot of years of kind of testing and trying things and seeing what works. And this is kind of at least our state of the art that we have going on right now. Okay, so starting, we're just gonna kind of start, start at the top and go through this website top to bottom. So a couple just initial notes. So sometimes folks get a little, so how would you say this? The right design makes a difference and when i say right design it it can't be too sloppy and it can't be too fancy for your specific business like if you target only super high-end luxury people then yeah your website should probably be a little fancy right um so that there's a right fit of kind of design level for the type of business that you are and who you're going after and that that's a subtle thing can't really totally you know teach you how to do that but that that is a key factor and we you can over and under design okay so now we're gonna pop over to the to the website and start looking at this puppy so if you know really quick yeah your what logo you being bigger is not always a solution <laughs> yeah go ahead yeah yeah I know um, that's funny so so uh starting at the header here which is this top white white strip um, up, at the, up at the top um, we've got a few elements here and most of them have to do with conversion optimization and, and partially they're up here because um, they're prevalent and they'll be on every single page which is really important so we've got a call to action you know the request to quote could be request to estimate depending on how you're doing things we've got that phone number and we've got these review stars which are um, an aggregate rating of their reviews out there and that's going to be on every single page so no matter what page someone drops on they can easily request a quote call them um, you know see their logo of course and also see what their what their general ratings are out there online and you wouldn't believe how effective that is it kind of slowing someone down when they put you know they're shopping they're clicking all over the place online they come to a website and go oh wait these guys seem legit right and that is our goal in the first one or two seconds to kind of get someone to slow down and go hey maybe I found the right solution and make it easy for them to um, contact you builds a lot of trust yeah with yeah. those reviews up there seems like a simple little thing but having your aggregate reviews up there builds immediate trust yep and kind of kind of keying off what Google does in the Google Maps pack you know they really display those review stars um, you know yeah very clearly or whatever you know prominently so we're kind of following in their footsteps a little bit with that move and the other part about having this stuff in the header is that when in mobile responsive mode when the website is shrunken down to fit on a mobile phone um, the same elements will be there on the mo mobile phone or so, you know as similar as they can be in the mobile um, environment so you've got those same ability to um, you know get a get a quick conversion even on the mobile side so there's a lot of reasoning to these few little elements and yes you could design them more fancy and get into all that but this works right yeah. it's not overdone um and then moving down into the menu area i mean th this particular um, client of ours is really aggressive with the breadth of services that he goes after so you see a lot going on which may make some of you go holy i would not want to do that and but here we go let's just focus on the house cleaning side here we've got this menu over here that basically this is a combination of a good user experience and a good sort of Google search optimization experience 
where we have broken down all the services. If you've seen our video on Google Business Optimization, Google Local, um, you know, we talked about having a page for every service. So basically we've broken down the services they're trying to sell, house cleaning, Airbnb, deep clean, move out, breaking move out and move in um, into separate pages because move out gets more traffic um, and is better optimized this way. Uh, apartment cleaning, post construction cleaning, carpet cleaning, Airbnb property management, and that's kind of in the order that they really want to land um, the business, give or take, right? So that's really important. Um, as well as come over here and we've got the service areas. So these are the specific service areas that are reasonable for them to drive to and you know perform what they do. So we've optimized the website for these different service areas with a page for each one and we can look at that a little bit more. Um, but you know in general what we've got going here is this strategy of having our services and our service areas and again if you've seen our local maps um, video which you should we'll, we'll put a link to it in the in the description here you're doing the same thing in your Google local maps um, your Google profile right you're showing your service areas and your services um, and then a little bit of about and kind of the story behind the business um, type of stuff going on over here contact and of course careers because Recruiting and hiring is important, right? So we want a careers page. Okay, so moving down into the hero here. Um, basically, I mean, it's not rocket science in the sense that, what do we do? We are a house cleaning and maid service focused business in where Las Vegas, that's our biggest keyword. So we go ahead and get that right in there. And we've identified one simple differentiator that we use pretty much throughout this site. They're, they're the number one rated um, in, in the area in the sense that they've got a really, really high um, review rankings and that's very, very good and powerful for them. So that's the identifier or the unique um, difference that we've identified for them. Um, you know, a little bit of other text, you know, kind of being dedicated, having that passion to be dedicated to something. I mean, we won't go through all the little bits and pieces because you can probably go and look at this a little bit yourself but you know kind of see what's going on there and we're, we're kind of quickly differentiating and saying what we do and this is also optimized for Google they're looking for house cleaning services made services those types of keywords what's the other thing we see here in the uh, hero is a form to request a quote and this gets a lot of submissions. I mean, typically, a the, lot. yeah, I mean, like say if the website got, I don't know, say 200 phone calls one month, that there may be a hundred form submits, which are in addition to those um, phone calls. So there's a lot of folks now that would prefer to contact you through a form. Mm -hmm. um, there's There are even a number of people who will fill out a, a full on online estimate these days. We're not doing that with this particular client for a few of his particular kind of process reasons. Um, so this this simple form works good for him. And there's a, you know, a, a nice healthy balance of leads come in through this form as well as phone. If this form was just a button here or some of the other options you might see, it would not convert as well. We have found that actually having the form visible right there, so it does kind of, you know, if you're designy, it does kind of, you know, get in the way of your fancy design, but what would you rather have? New business, you know, flowing in, or, you know, feel really good about your pretty website, right? And we've tested it quite a bit. Yep, back and forth yeah. with different people's requests, and, and if you're on the commercial side, there's, even being a little more specific about kind of how you perform your service and in, in that quote, what they're gonna get if when they request that quote. I'm not gonna go too far into that, but there's some cool stuff you can do that can really convert well on the commercial side as well. But today we're doing house cleaning. So just really quick to just yep. kind of wrap up what we're talking about here. So above the fold is, you know, what people see first. Yes, thank you. So there's about five seconds that you have to tell them what you do, build credibility, give them multiple ways to contact you and stand out 
And something that is really, really important is those authentic photos. Yeah, so yes, thank that, you. That they get to know you, like you, trust you, call you, send a form, all of that within that five second attention span that yeah, most people yeah. have. So this whole area is actually really important. So let's just take a moment here to stop really quick and talk about those photos. So everybody makes a way bigger deal about this than it really needs to be. Yo. The big deal about it needs to be that they're authentic. They're your team. They're your team doing things. They're a picture of you guys together. That's what's really important. So when people, I had just talked about building credibility in that short amount of time when people um, first come to your website, having those authentic photos is a major, major deal. These were actually taken with a camera, with a phone. So you don't have to always hire a, for a professional photographer. Don't, it's a waste of time and money. Right? Yeah. Just use a phone, get halfway decent lighting where they're not just getting torched by the sun, you know? And like his team is way bigger than this. Like if you can see his, his team photo going by there, that's just who he could get that day. And you know, and if someone doesn't work for you anymore, you don't have to worry about changing. Yeah, don't from, obsess about right? always having the current people because yeah. especially in the cleaning industry, yeah. you have a lot of turnover. So something um, I really want to make sure everybody knows is important when you're taking a picture with your phone, always have it horizontal. So you have the opportunity to make it big, like you see here in what we call the hero section, to go this way. Yeah. The tendency is to always go vertical, but which is fine for some things, but for well, the web- Social media yeah, stuff social like that, but for website, website, especially hero images. Horizontal, because yeah. then they can be cropped and everything out, but horizontal is the way to go. Yep, yep, or else they can get really big if you, anyways. <laughs> All right, so, so that's, um, that's kind of above the fold. And Brenda, in case people don't know what above the fold means, mm. it's a term for basically before you scroll. What do you see before you scroll on most people's, you know, everybody's computer is a different size, but this is a really good example of above the fold here of what you're seeing. Um, then the way we did this one is we, we wanted, he really wanted to highlight his Airbnb services. He really likes getting that um, repeat business in, in Las Vegas where he's at. There's just a ton of Airbnbs and people that own multiple properties. So you know, we wanted to highlight that. So that's what we've got kind of going on there and they can learn more. Now here is, we're taking the, this next area here with the reviews, we're taking that social proof, trust kind of factor thing and taking it to uh, really uh, the a bar level with the quickest um, way for people to get the idea. So in a second, you can scroll by and instead of like, oh, there's all kinds of reviews here, they can see what their social rating is in general, their Google rating, their Facebook rating, their Yelp rating. And as you guys know, if you can have that kind of level of a rating across those different profiles, you know you're doing something right, right? So, and people know that, and it's you know pretty amazing to have a Yelp rating at 4.5, right? That says a lot, you know, Yelp's tough. So, so anyways, this little move right here, this is a custom piece, you know, that we um, kind of created for our clients as a conversion element. So we actually kind of populate this for them, but there's, there's other ways that that can be done. Um, okay, next little section here, and this is just very simple, little kind of marketing factor thing, you know, why choose us, you know, super service award from Angie, they've got their satisfaction guarantee here. Um, I do, we find that this really helps with conversions. So if there's some kind of guarantee that you have, it's really good to have um, a graphic. We've got actually got a little library with those graphics. And then just a few simple um, bullets, you know, one source stop for home services, same day service which they particularly can do that, which is a, a challenge, but works good for them in Las Vegas, and then license and insured. Well, really quick, if you don't mind, a lot of people always wanna put things they do, right? You're always wanting to tell people what you do for them, but you wanna take a step back and think about how that service is gonna make them feel, right? So same day service is really important to people in his area. So boom, they're like, ah, oh, they feel relief. 
License and insured, insured is really, really important. So again, you're building that trust. And then it's just that one stop for home services, right? So yep. you're making them feel like their stress can go away because you're gonna handle these things for them. Right, but we're not saying you should say those things. We're no. saying that for this particular business, the way they function, these were just a few simple little pieces we could pull out that help folks kind of go, ah, okay, these guys are dedicated, doing a yeah. good job, and doing things that I want. So right? stick to, you know, three to four of just those really special things that you do. Don't go crazy. Yeah. And again, they're focused on Airbnb stuff, so they really wanted to make sure people knew that they did Airbnb. But this here, the, this is a very, very critical section for a few reasons, right? People need to know what you do. So this is kind of like, what, what are our services, right? So people need to know what you do. And they also, um, th this is like an SEO move in a way in that your homepage is your most powerful page. Think of it like your strongest battery. Like each page is a little bit of a That's battery, a right? So your homepage is the strongest battery. And what we're doing is we're connecting the homepage battery to these different pages, right? House cleaning, Airbnb cleaning, move out cleaning. So we're actually sending power into those as well as showing people what we do really quick and easy. Oh yeah, they do move out cleans, Airbnb cleans, deep cleans. Right, um, so that's this is a really important section for both users and Google SEO. And a lot of times, that's how it works. Like a good user experience is also good for um, search optimization. That's a ninja tip. I would call that a ninja tip. Yeah, yeah. I got ninja tips. <laughs> yeah, other services we also provide. They do do some other stuff. So we and these are links that go to those pages. So kind of following the same thing, but we didn't want to clutter up the homepage too much. I would say nine is a pretty good number um, for the homepage. Um, okay, so then again, showing those reviews, testimonials, even broke out a little um, quote from one of the, the testimonials instead of just saying our testimonials, which is kind of boring. Um, you know, it's a professional, very responsive, you know, a little, a little quote from the review world. And then um, showing that, and this is something I kind of sh probably should have mentioned above when we were looking at what the, those aggregate review badges we showed you, is having like the Google um, logo over here mm -hmm. um, and that kind of thing. Well, it provides what we call social proof and it shows that these aren't just like testimonials that we dropped onto our own website that were faxed to us in 1993. These are like current, legitimate, um, reviews that are being pulled in from online that were given, um, you know, third party websites and all that. So these are, you know, they, they have that extra legitimacy that builds trust that way. Uh, okay, and then meet the owners. So we've got a little bit of a story where you get to know them a little bit. I mean, if you know, every business is different, but if you do have kind of a mom and pop thing or just even a, you know, a little bit of an engaging owner, we highly suggest um, having a little bit of a story um, behind it and because that's just another one of those pieces where people feel like they get to know you. It's not some, you know, invisible black box behind some stock photography. These are the people who are running this business. Uh, really quick, and there, there is a, a page where you can read more about their story, but in this section, you want to just really talk about why you chose this business or if you were just describing to your friend, you know, why why you went into business, you don't really, in this section, you don't really need to put your credentials and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You wanna just really tell them like, hey, this is who I am, this is why I'm in my in this business, we do these things, yeah. you wanna These guys are more. starting with kind of their little story here uh -huh. of like what kind of got them inspired when they moved yep. to Las Vegas and it also kind of, tells the story of why they the business isn't really old because they moved there, got inspired because they couldn't find the right people to do the things in their house that they trusted. So that's kind of was the what got them started with this business yeah. idea. Uh, frequently asked questions. So why do we have frequently asked questions? They're, they're very useful. Google likes FAQs and they there, that's kind of like a lot of content that could be that's on the home page here. So it gives Google some good content to chew on, some good keyword oriented content at the same time as not just having this giant wall of text. You know, like when you see most SEOs attack a website, you're like, good God, what is all this, right? So this, this makes it a lot more palatable and usable. You can click on these and 
um, you know, get whatever answers you might be interested in and Google can see all this content too without it being this giant wall of text on the side. And those are the ones I was talking about in the previous video about Google Business Profile Optimization. So you can take the ones from your website, put them in the Q&A section on your business profile yep. and Yep, that's perfectly acceptable. It's all interlinked. <laughs> yeah, okay, areas we serve. Um, so obviously it's good for people to know what areas you serve, right? So especially if you're in Summerlin, Vegas, Henderson, Boulder City, now that you know that all those services we just learned about, yes, they do do it in my areas. And, and um, so, you know, just keeping it simple and showing that off here on the home page and then what we call the final call to action just hey interested in our services we're here to help final call um, yep to on the home page nice little team picture back there yeah. and you know no, no we're not stressing out about covering their faces a little bit or whatever we just know it's the team and we've got the two main calls to action request quote and phone call down there and then actually this is a little strategic down here too the footer is actually important and mm -hmm. and people don't <laughs> People tend to just kind of barf information <laughs> for lack of a better term, yeah. but this is really well thought through. Yeah, yeah, so there's a few reasons. Over here, the name and the location of the business is really important for um, local SEO optimization and the address needs to match um, their Google business profile, uh -huh. um, just about exactly. And we've also got some schema behind, and this is kind of geeky stuff, but there's some schema behind the scenes that's, that's like, tech stuff that tells Google about the business and the page and stuff. And that's actually very specific about the correct address and links to the Google business profile. We're not getting into all that. <laughs> this is more about conversion optimization, but also the, um, the hours here. I'm making sure people know what your hours are and then linking to your Google profile, um, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever it is you have. And that kind of helps not just for users, but that helps legitimize the business where Google can see, oh, that's their Facebook page. Oh, that's their LinkedIn page. Oh, that's their Google business page. So you're just helping really connect um, that sort of brand and the online presence all in one spot, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, privacy policy, terms of service, like there's more compliance stuff <laughs> with websites. You usually just throw up a website, yeah. I don't give a, but like if you're gonna run ads especially, like you basically, and I think even in different states, the rules are different, but like basically privacy policy, terms of service are pretty much required. Definitely if you're running ads. Um, and there's actually other stuff like we've seen people get in trouble for not having an ADA compliant website before. So really um, being aware of that stuff, that's a whole nother can of worms, but you don't just wanna throw something up and not have anything going on there. You may get a letter from a lawyer at some point saying, yo, this this ain't working really quick um before we go on oh, we something go that nope something that um our client opted not to have in this particular case um is a chat widget so mm. that's really important to have is you do have a way for people to hit a button fill a form pick up the phone but having a chat widget on your page that So what's is, a chat widget? You've seen it bottom right. Yeah. There's like a little icon down there and you can chat with them. It is a really, really good idea. Yes. He doesn't, he's not quite staffed to the point where they um, are ready for a chat widget. Yeah. Um, so his phone rings enough that that's what's going on at the moment. Although we're, we're twisting his arm to get the chat widget going, which can be a really, really good um, lead generation tool as well. So you want to appeal to all the various ways people want to communicate these days very quickly. Yep, yep. I think once he gets it going, he'll be like, why didn't we do that sooner? <laughs> uh, okay, so what, we'll go through a little bit, um, kind of breezy. So the home page you went through in detail because it's really a key page. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping around. Um, but now we'll just kind of give you an idea. So we went to the house cleaning page specifically. So this is what we call a service page optimized for house cleaning services, which is a really great keyword for them. We know from running straight, good old style Google ads that that is a great keyword. It's also an exact match for the 
um, almost an exact match for the Google category yep. on the Google local profile side of things. Um, I wonder why they picked that. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this is a nice li little optimized page. Some of those same elements because a lot of people will drop in here and not go to that home page. So we've got a lot of the uh, same things yep. going on here that that would happen um, on that home page. But it's a little bit different story here. 100% uh, guarantee, same day service, just a quicker kind of version and then straight into the house cleaning services. So it's a little like the homepage, but all focused on those different house cleaning services. Deep clean, move in. We did do move in, move out here separately, uh, bi-weekly cleaning, et cetera. So this is all about just house cleaning in general. Mm -hmm. uh, reviews again, service area, right? This is all should all be a little bit um, familiar. And different FAQs. Then yes. on the home page. Yep, not not rehashing yeah. them. Yes. And if any of you have heard of Chat GPT, it makes it a little bit easier to do some of this stuff. I mean, you need to be there being the human going, yeah, no, no. Uh, or yeah, that's cool, but it can help you generate this stuff quicker if you're doing that on your own. And actually our tools have them built into the website platform, so it helps make things easier on that. If you're doing it, if you're DIYing it, um, that can be really helpful. We'll look at one other, you know, full service Airbnb cleaning company. Um, so optimized for Airbnb, really a lot of the same exact elements, but then broken down with custom photos. This is a lot of work on this site to have these photos and all these little um, descriptions here. But again, it works really, really well. Um, if you can commit to all the photos, you, there's other ways to do a page that don't require um, so many photos, but this is, this is a proven good approach that tells a really good story and breaks it up into the the interesting bits to the people that are you know shopping your service and helps mm -hmm. convert mm -hmm. so that's pretty good there i think you can kind of get an idea of what we're doing with those service pages we'll quickly show you what a couple service areas look like so here we go in las vegas boom there's the little map showing the las vegas uh outline borders um hours phone number go over to google maps right and that go over to Google Maps button is actually important because again, you're linking to your business profile, which is another Google property. So even though these seem like just regular things, they're actually very meaningful and there's a reason behind why the things are there that we've selected to be there. Yep, and if we're gonna, I mean, I can't prove that this is a ranking factor, but we actually use Google Maps, um, Google My Maps to create this um, this map here. So we say, hey, Las Vegas into Maps. It outlines um, Vegas, and then we grab the the embed code for that outline map. So it's exactly when Google sees that, they're like, oh, hey, that's exactly Vegas as we know it, right? So we're very clear about um, what the service area is. Yep, nice little conversion element here, a little bit different form approach on this page. And again, kind of going through all the different services because this is a Las Vegas page. So if, like say if someone searched home services or, or house cleaning service um, you know, in Las Vegas, their chances may be that they'll land on this page. So we kind of treat this page as sort of an overview of all the different services and stuff that they do. So that way, um, as the page gets more power, it can possibly come up for, you know, lawn care in Las Vegas, house cleaning services in Las Vegas, that kind of thing. We're at least laying a groundwork for that kind of sort of uh, kind of umbrella of keywords. Um, let's see, what else we got? Uh, cleaning checklist, really actually, I think a very strategic thing for a house cleaning business. And I think actually a conversion factor where someone can actually see what is, what is it that you do when you clean a, a you know, clean a home um, with a regular clean, move out clean, deep clean, they can see exactly what's gonna happen. And we see that when people um, actually go through these lists on um, phone, calls, phone calls, you know, yeah. when, when they're, you know, can helping help someone make the right decision on the call, it actually can be pretty impressive when you go through your deep clean list on a call, there's a point where they're like, okay, okay, I gotcha. This sounds yeah. really thorough. That'll be another video. Yep, so there's a lot to that's that. That's sales video. But, yep, but that's, a, that's conversion, right? And contact, of course, 
and careers. And you know, this is this isn't exactly conversion, I guess, for your leads, but this is conversion for helping recruit, right? So having a nice little careers page with an application form that helps get that process going um, and kind of spells out what it's like working with you guys. So when someone clicks from an Indeed or a Facebook job post or however it is you're finding those right people, this will help kind of square them up and help them understand if you're the kind of business um, that they want to work for. Yep. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, there's there you can dive into this stuff way deeper with the SEO side and everything, but this gives you a nice kind of breezy overview of kind of what we found to work really good after a lot of experience doing this. And hopefully we can save you some time and help you get on the right track when you're building out your website. Because they can be a real time suck. And if you don't have someone who knows what they're doing with this stuff, there's very few designers in this space that um, actually know about conversion optimization or have really even done marketing. You know, they're website folks. So you might be able to help guide them in the right approach or do the really smart thing and hire us to help you. <laughs> there right? you go. Okay. Uh so that's it for today's video. We thank you very much for sticking around and we hope that you take even just one little nugget from this and apply it to your website and see what a difference it makes. More so, than one nugget. Yeah. Take a whole bunch. <laughs> All right. So thanks so much. Thanks guys.